So glad it's back. High school football kicking off in our region tonight, but some teams do remain sidelined. WDRB's Dalton Godby shows us how some teams are adjusting. Dalton. Well, here at Merrill Mill High School, the ball will still be kicked off at 7 p.m., but that's not the case for several area schools. A total of 15 teams sidelined this week due to COVID. The thump of the pads, the roar of the crowd. They are sights and sounds that are returning to high school football this year, kicking off Friday. And I'm telling you, we're stoked. But some will have to wait. It's something we thought we maybe had put past us, but uh, first game of the season, it already reared its head. Bullet Central got the dreaded call several days ago. Their week one opponent, Warren Central, quarantined from COVID exposure. The game was canceled. If we had, you know, a handful of kids all of a sudden have to be quarantined, we can still survive and fight on for the next week. But, but yeah, I think for some teams it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a real problem. Several Louisville schools found out their teams would be sidelined too. Southern, Moore, and PRP all out. In the cases of those three teams, it was uh, determined that the teams would have to quarantine. JCPS adhering to policy, using lessons learned from last season, and making sure the spread doesn't continue. We're conducting our protocols the way we're supposed to so we can quickly identify um, who may need to quarantine um, and who may need to be isolated and make those adjustments and make that known so that we can keep everyone as safe as possible. In some cases, for some teams, things work out. Bullet Central had their game canceled because of the opponent's COVID issues, as did Wagner High School. The two teams now meeting at the last minute still getting a chance to kick off in week one. We're trying to push forward this year just as if it's normal. Just like they're made on the field, this year will require adjustments. But districts and teams say they're ready to tackle the challenge. Outside Friday night, it ought to look and feel a whole lot more normal. This year, if a team has to forfeit because of COVID-19, it will count as a loss. Reporting live at Mel High School, Dalton Godby, WDRB News.